JLG's Ultra Boom Series includes the new 1200 SJP and 1350 SJP models of telescopic boom lifts. These models incorporate unique functional characteristics that are revolutionary to the big boom market. The purpose of this video is to inform the user of these unique characteristics. This video is to supplement the operator safety video and the operator and safety manuals. The operator of a JLG boom lift must not operate the machine until the operator and safety manual has been read and understood, training has been accomplished, and the operation of the machine has been completed under the supervision of an experienced and qualified operator. The envelope control system is the primary means of controlling the stability of the machine by restricting the working envelope of the boom. The system continuously monitors the angle and length of the boom to keep the unit within the permitted working envelope. The moment control system is the secondary means of controlling the stability of the machine. This system measures the forces applied to the lift cylinder pin and compares it to predetermined parameters. As the boom is moved, the forces on the pin change, provided the boom is off the boom rest. When the system sees forces in the forward stability region or the backward stability region that approach the predetermined parameters, the system will restrict or reduce the appropriate functions. To verify the proper operation of the envelope control system and the moment control system, the machine has a boom control system daily functional check. To perform this check, place the machine on a firm and level surface with no load, persons or material in the platform and extend the axles fully. From the ground control station, fully retract and lift the boom off of the boom rest to the horizontal position. Position the jib horizontal, straight and the platform level. Extend the boom until it stops. The boom must stop on the colored stripe matching the capacity indicator. The colored stripes are located underneath the inner mid boom. If the boom does not stop on the colored stripe matching the platform capacity previously selected from the platform controls, green for 1,000 pounds or 450 kilograms, and yellow for 500 pounds or 230 kilograms, then the system must be repaired by a JLG authorized service person before the machine can be used. Next, push and hold the gray test switch on the ground control panel. The lighting of the green boom control system light indicates the system is functioning properly. If no indicator light illuminates or the red boom control system light illuminates, the system must be repaired by a JLG authorized service person before the machine can be used. The boom control select switch allows the operator to choose between automatic or manual boom control. The automatic boom control provides a sweeping work envelope arc. When it's selected, the lift and telescope functions are coordinated by the JLG control system. While operating lift up, the boom will telescope out when necessary, and while operating lift down, the boom will telescope in when necessary. While operating at a high boom angle and telescope in is activated, the boom will lift down when necessary. The automatic platform leveling feature is only active during lift, swing, and drive movements. The manual boom control allows the operator full control of all boom functions for more precise platform positioning. When it is selected, the lift and telescope movements are controlled separately by the operator and the automatic platform leveling feature is active only during lift functions. When positioned to manual boom control, boom functions will be stopped when the envelope limits are reached. When this occurs, operate a different function or select the automatic position.
The controlled arc system optimizes the envelope shape by automatically introducing telescope in or out during the lift commands when the switch is in the automatic position. Telescope commands are regulated to maintain a constant percentage of the boom length from the start of the lift command or the end of the telescope command. For example, if an operator has the boom telescope completely in, 0% extension, and operates the lift up or down function, the boom will remain telescope completely in, 0%, until the telescope function is activated. If the operator completely extends the boom, 100% of the allowable extension, at the horizontal position and operates the lift up function, the system will automatically telescope out until the boom reaches 100% of the total height. The desired percentage will be maintained throughout the lift, up or down, whether it is maintaining 0%, 100%, or any percentage in between. The telescope function can still be operated independently. To maintain unrestricted operation of the boom while tracking the backward edge of the working envelope, the lift down function is automatically introduced while telescoping in. This only occurs when telescoping in along the backward edge and is not used elsewhere within the working envelope or when telescoping out. If the boom angle is greater than 9 degrees, the controlled boom angle system automatically lifts up and lifts down while driving or swinging over uneven terrain to maintain a constant boom angle relative to gravity. A new set point angle will be taken with the start of each drive or lift command. When the boom approaches the edges of the working envelope, all functions except for the jib and platform functions, telescope in or out on the backward edge, and telescope in on the forward edge are automatically slowed down. The slowdown starts within four feet or 122 centimeters from all edges and is at the fully reduced speed at two feet or 61 centimeters from all edges. The control system indicates to the operator this automatic introduction of the slowdown by flashing the creep indicator light on the platform display panel. The unit is out of the transport position whenever the boom is elevated above 15 degrees relative to gravity and or the boom is extended one foot or 30.5 centimeters on the 1350 model and two feet or 61 centimeters on the 1200 model. When the boom is out of the transport position, the drive speed is cut back, the extension and retraction of the axles is prohibited, the oscillating axles are locked, and the jib stow system is disabled. Swing speed proportioning controls the speed of the turntable swing function. Turntable swing speed is decreased as the boom is extended. This results in an approximate constant platform speed regardless of boom position. The drive orientation system activates whenever the turntable is swung past the rear drive wheels from the normal driving position. When drive is initiated past the rear drive wheels, the drive orientation indicator will flash and the steer and drive functions will be disabled. To drive the unit in this position, match the directional arrow on the frame with the directional arrow at the drive controller to the intended direction of travel. Engage the drive orientation override switch and slowly move the drive controller to the intended direction of travel. The drive orientation override switch has a three-second enable timer. If the timer expires,
the override switch must be re-engaged to enable the drive and steer functions. There are three different modes of steering selectable by positioning the steer select switch on the platform control panel. They are crab, coordinated, and conventional two-wheel steering. Changing the steering modes while the foot switch is depressed causes the wheels to automatically adjust to the appropriate angle for the selected steering mode based on the position of the inside front wheel. The system also automatically changes the maximum steer angle 25 degrees with the axles retracted to 45 degrees with the axles extended. This system proportionally varies the drive speed based on the turning radius of the chassis for both coordinated and conventional two-wheel steer modes. The tighter the turning radius, the slower the allowable drive speed. Crab steer does not steer on a radius, therefore full drive speed is maintained regardless of steer angle. The axle extension system allows each of the four axles to be extended and retracted together while maintaining steering control as the machine is driven. The system allows the axles to extend or retract only while the boom is in the transport position. To extend or retract the axles, engage the axle extend or retract switch and the drive controller at the same time. The axle set indicator will be off when the axles are not fully extended. The indicator will flash while the axles are being extended or retracted and will be on constantly when the axles are fully extended. The oscillating front axle system allows all four wheels to remain on the ground while traveling over rough terrain. The lockout cylinders permit axle oscillation when the boom is in the transport position and drive is commanded. The lockout cylinders will lock and hold the axle when drive is not commanded or when the boom is outside the transport position. Both the 1200 SJP and the 1350 SJP units are equipped with a full functional side swing jib that is operational only if the 500 pound 230 kilogram capacity mode is selected. The machine's stowed length can be reduced for transportation by swinging the jib farther to the right by using the hydraulic power of the side swing rotator. To stow the jib, the boom must be in the transport position and the axles retracted. Press and hold the jib stow override button while activating the jib swing right function switch. When the jib is in the stowed position, jib swing will be disallowed from the ground control station. Note, the turntable lock is located off center to allow the stowed platform to be confined within the same plane as the drive wheels for transportation purposes. The auxiliary power system is intended as a secondary means of moving the boom in case of a power loss. During the lift up or down functions, no other functions are permitted. While using the lift down function, telescope in will automatically activate until the boom is retracted to the transport length. Then the lift down function will continue until the boom is fully lowered. The cable service indicator system uses a proximity switch to detect excessive movement of the cable block. If movement is detected, the cable service indicator will illuminate it at the platform control panel. No restrictions are made to the functionality of the control system, so the cable service system must be repaired, replaced, or adjusted immediately upon indication.
The dual capacity system on this machine is a multiple envelope control system as opposed to an indication system. The control system changes the working envelope and moment limits to match the capacity select mode to either the 500 pound 230 kilograms mode or the 1000 pound 450 kilograms mode. It then displays the capacity mode on the platform and ground display panels and controls the position of the boom within the allowable envelope for that mode. This mode is selectable by the operator with the dual capacity select switch on the platform control panel. The 500 pound 230 kilogram mode has the largest envelope and allows the use of the side swing jib. The 1000 pound 450 kilogram mode has a smaller envelope and requires the jib to be fixed in a centered position. To select the 1,000 pound 450 kilogram mode, the boom must already be in the smaller 1,000 pound 450 kilograms envelope and the jib must be in line with the main boom. When the operator selects a 1,000 pound 450 kilogram mode and these conditions are not met, both capacity lights will flash and the platform alarm will sound and all functions except jib swing will be disabled until the capacity select switch is put back into the 500 pound 230 kilogram position. Operation of the jib swing in this position can be used to find the center position of the jib and the jib swing function will stop when the center position is reached. The electronic platform leveling system automatically levels the platform while operating the drive, telescope, lift, or swing functions. The system controls the platform angle relative to gravity using a set point established during power up or at the conclusion of the manual platform level override from either the platform or ground controls. The jib cylinder has an orifice installed that restricts the oil flow while raising the jib. When the jib reaches within 5 degrees of maximum elevation, this restriction slows the jib lift up speed. JLG's control system uses a handheld analyzer for machine setup, calibration, personality adjustments, and diagnostics. This concludes the Ultra Series Unique Function Characteristics video. You must always read and fully understand the operators and safety manual and be properly trained and authorized prior to operating any JLG equipment. Thank you for allowing JLG to be your provider of choice.